Oh, Toyo Taro. First you nod a little too hard at Captain America, and now this. That's right everyone, Dragon Ball Super the Manga Chapter 56 is here, and I'm feeling a lot of things right now. I am getting very vivid flashbacks to Resurrection F here, as well as Avengers Endgame, naturally. But we must remain focused on the job at hand, and that is reviewing the manga, which is what we are doing here on the Master Coex channel every single month as it comes out via Viz's online portal. Something that I am very pleased to see exist, and it really helps promote speedy manga releases in the West. In short, if anime can have simulcasts like that, then so should manga. Chapter 56, Warriors of Earth, Assemble. You know you're in for a treat here if even the translators are having a little bit of Avengers humour seeping into the localization. In any case, before we start, do check out the merch store for some cool offerings with this code to make it even sweeter. Use the code SUBS to get 10% off if you go to masterco.cc slash store. But let's get back to reminding ourselves of what we were in for last time. Where we last left off, we got the details about what Miras had done in regards to the angelic law, and it seems like he was very much in deep doo-doo, very much in danger of breaking these rules. And if it weren't for Whis taking pity on him and deciding to take charge of his situation personally, Miras might have ended up being erased by his own father, the GP. It was quite interesting to see the Meister himself showing some kind of remorse, sadness, or regret with possibly having to do that to their own offspring. Thankfully, that didn't happen for all concerned, and Miris was spared all of this, but at the same time, this did lead to him being removed from the entire equation, that fight against Morrow, as well as Goku not having a ride to the nearest service station. We saw the full extent of Vegeta's training at hand, and it was pretty intense as Pibara, the Yardratian Grand Master, had taught him to focus his key, and everything was aligned so well that his existing power was amplified so much that it took out Zarbon's cousin, or whoever he is, in seconds. Is this quite possibly the first step towards End of Z Vegeta, where we see him being a more relaxed, serene prince of all Saiyans? Well, we shall have to wait and see, but a promising start all the same. We kick off this particular chapter after a passage of time, and the passage of practically the entire galactic patrol making its way to Earth, where the battle for universal domination is set to begin. It's always the Earth that just so happens to be the center of the universe. I mean, it's like we all think the world revolves around us or something like that. It seems like Jaco is naturally late to join the party, despite knowing the way to Earth the most from his co-workers. Whether it's slacking off or otherwise, he should have really been there first. But the main event is when we see the Dragon Team members having joined the Galactic Patrol and all in their duds, their main gear, all lined up like this with all the people in the background and them at the front. Mm. Marvel inspirations, oh so many of them. Including our boy Gohan going 100% Chadhan for the occasion and even Ten Shinhan and Yamcha and Chaozu representing Earth. This is certainly a step up from Resurrection F here, but it just goes to show that Ten Shin Han had so little faith in his buddies back then. And yes, Yamcha, it is indeed your time to shine. As Boo returns from the Battle of New Nemec fast asleep still, so does the first wave of Moro's squad. They do so with a ship that very much reminds me of the old board game Pop-Up Pirate only without the pirate on the top. I mean, seriously, the ships like come up like all the different types of little spiky things like the game does. Now I really want a version of that where Moro pops up from the top. Yeah, Bandai, can, can, can we have that happen? That would sell, I guarantee it. I mean, I'd buy it. One of the ships lands in not India and attacks the not Taj Mahal. All of this, not just for the sake of padding, it's to imply that this is a truly global catastrophe at play here which is certainly different from the usual battles that we see on Earth in Dragon Ball that are concentrated in one specific area, or maybe two. With Roshi and Krillin amusingly going off to take on the smaller groups across the planet, the rest of the gang fan out across the world, with various battalions of the Galactic Patrol following them, which means at least it's wider in scope than the Thousand Soldier Battle of Resurrection F, 
that the Earth had a few years back. The first two head to a jungle sphere. Ooh, we're having a fight in the jungle now. Oh man, things are changing up fast. I can't keep up here. And our old pal, Yumba, the irate panda, is back for round two with Krillin. And Roshi is put to the test. Will his previous weaning off ladies have stuck? Are we going to see him relapse? Well, I hope he doesn't, I swear. But the Yumba Krillin tussle starts as you might expect, with Krillin getting the short end of the stick. No change there then. Meanwhile, Yumba's allies Shimureka and 7-3 are back with Gohan and Piccolo, and the latter grabs both Earth Fighters' powers at the same time. Oh my god. Oof, oh man, this is just getting so one-sided now. But at least Jarko is echoing what we're thinking right now. I don't know where I am with Jarko. Sometimes he's really, really bad at the job, and sometimes he's really perceptive. This means that the droid can switch between both of their powers, starting with Piccolo's. But suddenly, we witness something pretty epic. And going off the back of the discussion we had a couple of weeks ago is very poignant. Gohan has a new technique! It's some kind of shield or disc thing which dissipates attacks in a rotational manner. It's different from just having a force field like 17. You're not copying on that front, so that's great to see Gohan with a new power here. But wait, there's more. Using this shield, Piccolo fires his own special beam cannon back at 73, using this shield as a cover. And before he can do anything about it, it overwhelms 73, blasting a chunk out of him. But before you get excited here, remember he has Piccolo's powers, therefore he has regeneration. So it's not a finishing move, but still, it's ingenuity at play here. And ingenuity in Dragon Ball needs to be applauded. And Toyotaro is really thinking outside of the box here. And will this continue as 73 then moves on to stealing Gohan's attacks? Well, it seems so. Gohan is able to leap up rapid fire key blasts that are being sent by both Piccolo and the droid at the same time, which causes things to get pretty hectic. All of this tactical fighting is just amazing me right now. It's reminding me of Dragon Ball, only this time with key blasts mostly and not a trace of Super Saiyan in sight. <laughs> I'm loving it. Yamcha gets to do stuff and to do his thing and he succeeds at it gaining the admiration of the galactic patrollers that have followed him. And as he says, yeah, I'm one of the three strongest Earthlings around. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. This just goes to show that Toyotaro is fully utilizing the Earthlings here as opposed to previous outings. Something that we have been asking for for the longest time. And it's just so satisfying to see. We've got to get back to Gohan and Piccolo using teamwork against 7-3, who actually, and quite critically, can't use two sets of powers at once. And it's working. With a special beam cannon slash Masenko combo going on, and this is literally a combo, they are combining into one here. I can't tell you, this is so powerful here. Can you imagine how stunning that all of this will look when it's animated? However, 7-3 still has Moro's power to drain energy. But before he can do anything about that, two more combatants join in the party. Android 17 and 18. Oh yeah, they weren't gonna miss this one. Also, 17, that 7-11 joke. I'm loving it. Please, please, seriously, never change. And especially don't change since these two droids don't have key. And so, 7-3 borrowing Moro's powers, it's kind of useless. As this is going on, Moro is now sizing up his first target on Earth. And despite the battle not going his own way right now, he's not really concerned about this at all. He is just merely waiting for the pick of the litter, power-wise, to show themselves here on Earth, and then just leap on them unawares, just take their energy. At least it's making it easier for him to choose where to go. It's a pretty restrained maneuver, and it goes to show that this villain is not your average run-of-the-mill type of villain here. He is no hearts, that's for sure. We cut to Vegeta right at the end of the chapter, and he is having a hard time dealing with this crash course in advanced Yardratian training. And despite this being a massive strain on his body, he is determined to master this technique. And what this power is, is tantalizingly kept away from us. But he will do it. It's Vegeta. Come on, the guy's a walking ball of determination. And oh yeah, Goku did manage to figure out how to fly the ship, but... He's still not even close to getting anywhere near Earth so he can instant transmit. And that's where the chapter ends. All in all, this was, in my opinion, 
the best chapter thus far in terms of the complete package of what we expect in Dragon Ball. The thing about it is that it covers a lot of bases, and most importantly, the Saiyans are an afterthought right at the end of the chapter. It's like, oh yeah, they're there too, I guess. And they will be the ones to finish things off in this arc, but right now, the story isn't about them. It's about the Earthlings, and them having to naturally defend their home turf against the likes of Moro, and this is a far better means of doing so than in Resurrection F. I mean, sure, okay, that movie did it very well for the time, it was pretty amazing, but this arc is taking that and making it seem limited and boring by comparison. This, what we're seeing right now, is on a whole other level. We are seeing Gohan at his best here, and not only showing what power he already has, but also thinking on the spot, and even have a brand new technique to boot, which works well with Piccolo. It has been seen before, but we can solidly confirm that these two fighting together, they are extremely strong. They're not to be trifled with here. They could actually be better than Goku and Vegeta individually, because they actually work together instead of the Saiyans who do so reluctantly. And um, oh yes, the androids and using their lack of key against 7-3, I did not consider that. And I am also glad to see 17 return, and that his time in the Tournament of Power wasn't just a one and done thing and then he was gone for good again, sort of what we got with Future Trunks. It seems like 17 is here to stay, and I am so happy for that, as I'm sure you all are too. Finally, I would like to give Toyotaro credit for holding stuff back here. He could have just thrown everything out to us right now, but he didn't. There are still questions to be asked. Who will Moro focus on first? What power has Vegeta chosen to focus on? How long will it take for Goku to arrive? And note how I did not say how long will the gang wait for Goku to arrive to actually do stuff. No, he's not needed yet. So far, the other things can take all of this on by themselves. This arc is looking even better here, and if they can stick the landing right at the end, this may be the best arc in Super, if not since the Cell Saga. Bold words, I know, but it needs to be mooted here. And by the way, Toyotaro, if you are watching this video, I doubt it though, please can we see more Earthlings fighting for the cause, like King Chapa or indeed Nam? I think having that will be a really keen addition here. What did you guys think of Chapter 56? Has this piqued your interest? And if you actually haven't read the manga yet, has this review convinced you to do so? Vote now up top, and I shall see you next month for the review of Chapter 57. Until then, guys, though, catch you later.